Hi there. Today we're going to look at research methods examination questions and look at a few questions that may come up in your summer exam. To start with, I'll show you a list of key terms. All these key terms are very relevant to research methods and you should have a good understanding of each word in front of you. If you do have an understanding, you will be able to use the word, use the key term, wisely when answering the examination question. And you should try to include the key terms when answering the examination questions. Obviously, you're not going to be able to use all of the key terms, but you should be able to understand which key terms should be used for which particular question. How many of those key terms do you know? I'm now going to take you through a few exam questions and give you a few little tips of what you should answer and how you should answer it. Firstly, fully explain the meaning of the term questionnaire. Obviously a questionnaire is a is a obviously a questionnaire is a research method where the respondent will fill in online or on a piece of paper questions open or closed in relation to the research method what they are wanting to find out. It is important when asked what is a questionnaire that you answer that it is filled in online or on paper. And your second question, write a closed question that a socialist could, could use in a questionnaire to find out what people think of the police. A closed question refers to an answer such as yes or no. So, do you think the police do a good job in our community? That would be one mark and would be an example of a closed question. Look carefully at the next question. Research and investigate how teachers feel about their jobs. Suggest one suitable method they could use. It's important here that you understand the research methods and the type of research method you can use. For example, questionnaire, interview or an observation. Now an observation wouldn't be very relevant for this answer and wouldn't get you a mark. So it's important there that you would use either a questionnaire or an interview to gain your research methods. Then explain why the method you have chosen is suitable, then you need to be including key words that re respond to that question. For example, the response rate, the percentage, the percentage of people who take part would be quite high because teachers would feel more comfortable doing a questionnaire or an interview. You'd also get valid results from using a questionnaire because you could do it as an anonymous question and therefore teachers will be able to answer more truly in relation to the question you are answering. An informal interview would also be a suitable way because it would be more relaxed and you are more likely to get more accurate valid answers from the teachers from using that. Explain why socialists sometimes use more than one method in their research method. Obviously the more research you do the more valid your results are going to be. I often speak to students about when Ofsted come into school and when they come into school they do various ways to gain and make sure that the results and the overall conclusion of how strong this school is at producing uh, education to the young students they do interviews, they may interview parents, they may interview teachers they will certainly interview the head teacher. They will also do questionnaires of the parents of the students and obviously, the teacher's dreaded nightmare, they will do observations. These will obviously be over-observations because the teacher knows they are being observed. But they use various methods to gain an accurate reflection of how well the school is doing. So basically, experiments show that sometimes use more than one method in research. It allows for the data to be gained to be more valid. You can also gain qualitative data and quantitative data that you can use in your analyze, analyzing your results. Okay, again, you'd need to understand what sampling is, and you'd also need to know the different types of samplings that come along. Once you've got 
your understanding towards sampling, you can then look at two problems that a researcher may have when sampling. Research investigating parents' attitude to how they bring up their children suggest a suitable method that could be used and give one reason why you chose it. Now this is quite an easy one in terms of it's a six mark question however a key word that should come into your mind anything that is in relation to children will be ethical. Is it right to observe or to find information out about children? You would also need consent from the parents.